Oh, right. I'm in a potato farm. It's well magical. Hello. All right, what's your name? I'm a leprechaun. Really, mate? And what are you doing here? Hmm, a friend with weed is a friend indeed. But a friend with gold is the best I'm told. I ain't got any gold because of the budget, mate. Can't you find someone else? A ring around a rosy, a pocket full of posy. Fine suit of clothes, lad. Oh, cheers, mate. This is some good green, yeah? Interesting blend. Curious aroma. The balm? I totally agree with you, yeah? Belongs to me, this gold I smell. Mate, I ain't giving it back to you. You gave it to me as a present. Me golden, delicious gold. Mate, don't make me throw my shoes at you. Finger looking good. Ah! I think this lep in the hood ain't up to no good, mate. Find out why I is talking to a leprechaun in Bobby's bedroom beatdown. Bobby's beat down, Bobby's beat down, Bobby's beat down, Bobby's beat down, got my blaze mates, bless. Bobby's beat down, 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 Bobby's beat down. For those of you who don't know, today was a very important day in British politics, yeah? Well, actually, yesterday or the day before was, because I was filming this on the day, so you have to use your imaginations, yeah? Anyway, what happened today was this really important thing where Gimpstar original George Osborne, who looks after, like, all the money and stuff, yeah? He basically tells the country what they're going to spend their money on, yeah? And it is called the budget, yeah? So, this is an episode called Bobby's Budget! Oh, Bobby's budget, so much money in here! Knock, knock, what's that? Oh, it's poverty calling in the red box, mate! Red box of poverty, Bobby's budget, what will it be? Will they give Northern Ireland an helicopter? Will they make the poor hungry? Bobby's budget. I was holding up a red suitcase there, because George Osborne, he holds up a red suitcase, and I don't really know why. <laughs> I don't know what's in it. Uh, WrestleMania title fight. Is it, mate? I think so. George Osborne, he's a wrestler. Gimstar original. I don't know if he's the wrestler, but he's got the it in the belt. He's, oh right. Maybe so he's. Yeah, I guess he's. They do the wrestling in the House of Commons. Yeah. Do they, mate? Yeah, and he's he's can challenge David Cameron. Oh right. At any time. Oh. You learn silent. something new every day. So basically, yeah. I tried to read the budget today and I didn't really understand it yet because like it was basically talking a load of numbers and I don't understand it because my maths aren't very good unless it's in ounces and grams yeah I thought the budget was so shit yeah so I thought I'd do my own budget and what I think would be good for you all yeah if I was like the budget man so right my first agenda would be why do we need to use oil anymore, mate? Why, why do we need to use coal and kindling, mate? Look around at the UK. We have got water. We have got wind. Why don't we just do what they do in Amsterdam and use windmills and lots of waves to power all the electricity and the gas? The gas is there. But we could use the water and the windmills to power the gas, yeah? and the electricity and cars, yeah? I mean, let's do it. Let's work together, mate. So that would be my first agenda, yeah? Mate, what about frying an egg? Frying an egg? What do you mean, mate? What do you use for that? You would use meditation. Basically, what happens is, because if you get together, yeah? This is like a sign, uh, a I can't remember if it's a scienceology fact or common knowledge, but basically, if you all get together and you make all the sounds like mmm, then the sheer force of the mmms make the egg hot and cook. How many people do you need? About <coughs> seven. Every time you need to fry it. Yeah, mate. 
But that would solve like homelessness, wasn't it, as well? Because then you'd get like the homeless to come and live in your flat. And they're particularly good at doing the homeless. Mm, yeah, mate. And oh so, no, they're not. What? No. What? That's why they're all starving. Because oh. they're homeless. Oh, they're homeless, of course, mate. Oh, Trev, where would I be without you, eh? Right, so that would be one way of fixing things. And also, uh, George Osborne said in his budget how he wants maths to be, or math, as you say, in America. And he wants it to be like a, a thing you have to do until you is 18, yeah? Well, first of all, Osborne, I left school at 16, yeah? And look what arm that's done me. Nothing, mate. I is mates with James Corden. I is mates with Prince Harry. I'm not mates with Prince William at the moment because he said how he thought that killing lions um, as trophies is an okay thing to do. And I think that is wrong, yeah? Because I don't eat meat because it is sad to do so. So Prince William, I is going to get Harry to talk to you, yeah? I Maybe bet he wouldn't say it to a lion, mate. What? What, if he was talking to like Scar mm. and he'd say like, be prepared, and William would be like, I'm gonna kill you because I think you is too old and I think the community needs to profit from your death. And Scar would be like, shut up mate, I killed Mufasa, I'm gonna kill you. And he'd like scratch him like, ah, oh, William. Oh, you haven't got much air on your head, but it's gonna rip the rest of it off, yeah. You is gonna die, mate. Rah, rah, feed you to my pride, bitch. That's what Scar would be like, yeah. So, yeah, William, stop being shit to lions, yeah. Stop it, mate. I thought the lion was the British. It is, mate. Like, he has like a cheeky wank over his crest, yeah. So, you'd have thought he'd love the lion. He gets the coat of arms from on top of the Windsor Castle fireplace, yeah, and he stands in front of it. Bop, 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 lions, oh, getting come in your mane. <laughs> and he jizzes everywhere, all over the coat of arms. And then all he does is he gets, like, like a cushion cover and just w wipes it down, yeah? And then he puts it over the, the fireplace. And then there is tourists the next day, and they're like, oh, the, the coat of arms is well shiny. Well, I wonder why they, because William's jizzed all over it and polished it with the cushion cover, yeah? Ugh, Harry, sort it out. Talk to Prince William, tell him he's got to stop doing these things that he does, yeah? And just stick to helicopters. What was I talking about? Well, basically, George Osborne wants us to do math in school until we are 18. I is friends with lots of celebrities and make, like, £12,000 a year and I didn't do maths until I was 18. I do not need to learn about um, uh, a sausage triangle. I do not need to... Trevor! Anyway, so that, yeah, George Osborne, instead of teaching maths in school, you should teach beats, mate. You should have a beats class, yeah? And then people use their minds, they'll be using maths at the same time because they'll be counting you know what, mate? How many was that? How many counts 16, was that? Mate. 16, mate. You know, we've been educated in the maths of beats, yeah? So teach beats instead of maths, yeah? So what happened as well today is that basically they decided, oh, well, we're not going to call schools schools anymore. We're going to call them academies. And it is going to be run by the government. And that is really sad because, all right Trev, did you go to academy today? Have you got any academy homework, mate? Stupid, mate. Stupid, it makes no sense, mate. So anyway, so all the government are gonna run all the schools now and call them academies, which is really shit, yeah? I don't want David Cameron. I don't want him running my school. He's gonna teach us how to fuck pigs, yeah? He's gonna be like, oh, how to get how to get sexy with your pig, mate. You know? It's gonna be shit and he's gonna be like, oh, I just gonna teach you how to leave your child in the pub, yeah? I just gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to forget about your children, yeah? Oh, mate, I just gonna teach you how to make really shit jokes to people, like, oh, your clothes are scruffy. Like, that's no use to anyone, is it, mate? 
Don't lose to anyone. And I is going to teach you how to kick a disabled person whilst they're down, mate. We're going to, in our, in our PE classes, yeah, we is going to like, all run after someone in a wheelchair and point and laugh and lose weight in that way. Go, ha, 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 and run after the wheelchair, mate. I don't want a future like that, mate. I want to be in a school where we learn about good things, yeah. We learn about the capitals of the world and we learn about soldering things and we learn... Don't, I want to play sports like football. I don't want to play chase the wheelchair. I don't want to be taught history and languages by Katie Hopkins, mate. That ain't an history I want, mate. I don't want someone look who looks like Alf to teach me things, yeah. I don't, I don't want Helena Bonham Carter teaching me drama, mate. Cause she'll just go, I've got a crazy husband. Oh, I'm gonna mess up my hair a bit. I'm an actress now. Oh, I've got tits, boom. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna talk posh and I'm gonna be famous like my Grandfather Prime Minister. Ugh. I suppose like Christopher Lee would have been an alright teacher because he is conservative as well, isn't he, mate? Is he? Yeah, mate, and he's he dead now, isn't he? He is dead now. Maybe he, One less. Probably. Maybe we could use him in like autopsy or something, like science. Yeah. And That'd then, be good. Yeah, like dissect Christopher Lee. Yeah. And that would be good because he was in them Amma horror films as well. Yeah. So good. I don't think that the government should rule the schools. I well, think like Boris Johnson's fashion class. That would be pretty good actually, wouldn't it? That of all the Tory people, he would be the one that you'd want to take fashion advice from, wouldn't it? He's Joanna Lumby's son. Joanna Lumby's son, yeah, I know. I know. But yeah, I don't think that I would want the government to rule our schools. I think they should be run by us the people, yeah? <laughs> So stop it, George Osborne, don't change the names of things. It's like the Cocoa Pops Choco Krispies fiasco. Why don't you put it to a public vote? Academy, school. Academy, school. Academy, school. Academy, school. It's like 1984, mate. I don't know, mate. I wasn't born then. Yeah, he decided that all fizzy drinks are going to be more expensive now and that all the money is going to go into the sports, mate. 520 million, mate, of sugary drinks. It is well unfair. How is they going to be fast at work, yeah, if they haven't got their Diet Coke? If I don't have my Diet Coke, I is gonna have the at work and be like, right, so I said I'm on the bus going down to school. Well, should I have what's more cheap? Speed, coffee, or diet coke? Well, I'll go for the speed, innit? I'll be running around and then we're gonna have a massive drug problem because no one can drink fizzy drinks. All the kids, they're gonna be fucking taking speed Do and be shoving all over their faces like a powdery mask. <laughs> But a mate called Marmaduke in London, yeah? He runs that club. You know the club? Shit that bed, mate. Shit you know that, that club? Yeah, they they play the what 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 yeah. So basically, yeah. He gets, um, he has like a little thermos, like William, and he gets the water and moves it to simmer and he gets all the cocaine crystals sticking around, probably all shit stained and wee stained, and then he grinds it all up and resells it, mate, for like 50 quid a bag, because it's like gone through a special uh, fil filter process. And he calls it Zuasami. Like what? In the big short? This is an episode of Bobby's Blockbusters. Bobby's Blockbusters. Bobby's Blockbusters. Bobby's Blockbusters. Bobby. Yeah. So <coughs> anyway, I went to see the Big Short the other day, and I thought it would be a bit like Anchorman or something, because it had Steve Carell in it, and I thought it would be really funny because it was from Adam Mookie and it won that Oscar and stuff, and I thought, well, I'll go see it anyway. 
And uh, basically, it was like watching a foreign language film, mate. I did not understand anything they were saying. They just talked in numbers. It was like, it was going, hello, 58, 45, big words. And then the other person was like, oh yeah, big words, 75%, 49, one, brilliant. And then they just cut in these bits with like, Margot Robbie in a bath going like, I'm showing my tits so you understand this more. And I still didn't fucking understand, mate. And then they were like a bit racist in the film as well. And basically, Christian Bale, like, he was so weird, yeah? He, he pretended to have a glass eye. And it was so strange. It was like he was watching you the whole time. And then he was listening to this, like, blurry heavy metal music. And it was really weird. They were called Pancreas or something. He was like, Winking at everyone, really like, oh, I'm Christian Bale and I know mathematics. Oh, I listen to all the stuff. I'm Christian Bale, I've got no shoes on. I'm so crazy. I'm a crazy mathematician who listens to crazy heavy music and has no shoes on. Oh, I'm gonna go over and play the drums really badly and go butter da butter da. Bale beats, mate. And everyone was just talking and making a lot of phone calls and Steve Carell was like I'm really angry, I'm Steve Carell, I'm so angry and blonde and I lost a brother and that's the second subplot that no one should really care about Oh, I don't know if I care about this What's that? 5%'s gone to the big man in the witcher kapoo What? What? 25%'s gone down with the financial structure of the bell end of the wank stain? I don't know what a day was on about me, but I think I got the message that basically what the bankers did in the Wall Street crashings was that they got like really shit things to sell, like my mate Marmaduke, and then but they sold them on as really good things. So then when people bought them, they were really disappointed and everyone rioted and got a bit sad and lost loads of money. And Brad Pitt was there. Brad Pitt, was he? Me. That was Brad Pitt with the beard. Mate, really? That was Brad Pitt. I thought it was I thought it was an older older actor from the Hollywood Golden Years like Kurt Russell, mate. It was Brad Pitt, mate. That was Brad Pitt, mate. Back to the budget! Mate. Hello? Is there more sorrow and despair in there? I think so. Is it is it Marcellus Wallace's soul? Is it all the drugs in the world? Who is it? What could it be, mate? Hello, is you the Tesseract? No? Is you that Holy Grail? Is you David Cameron's dignity? Is you David Cameron's mum? Is you Chris Martin's penis? You is, mate! And you is deciding all the important things in the country. Big, big important thing in the budget, which kind of tags on to Bobby's Blan Alfestiniog, is that he's basically making it so that it is cheaper to go over to Wales for when they was doing their invasion in May because there was a, a troll on the Severn Bridge and he's like, yeah, give me all your money. And, but now he's a bit like, all right, only give me half your money but you should go over the bridge, but be be warned that this is a one-time offer, yeah, this troll. So basically half price for all the people to go across the Seven Bridge so that the government, they can plan their army attacks in Wales. And Jeremy Corbyn waded in, he's like, I'm asking my 101 question, mate. You've got to be straight with me and give me an answer. Why aren't you giving me an answer, mate? You is rubbish. Answer the people. He said, I ain't giving you an answer because you is homeless. Well, I'll tell you what, I want an homeless Prime Minister, David Cameron, because he's got street knowledge, yeah? Unlike you, who has lived in a mansion and had golden toilet roll and eating caviar for breakfast from a prostitute's belly button, mate. I ain't having that. I want a man from the streets. I don't, I want him to be homeless. I want him to have little bits of crumbs in his beard and a skewy with tie and little bits of mayonnaise staying on his suit. I want that from a prime minister. I want him to look a bit 
like bemused like that, but also a bit cross in a quiet way. I want that, not you with like, well, I've got all these funny jokes because I'm cross. I'm David Cameron. I'm David Cameron. I'm, I was really embarrassed, like a bit like a shaven testicle. I'm George Osborne. Oh, I've got to stop taking so much crap. George Osborne, I look like a movie villain or a pantomime villain. I'm so mischievous and weird and evil, and I look like it as well. I look like I could t turn your children into piles of pus with just one of my weird, slightly smiling looks. Like that, mate. Like a sinister Toby Maguire. Like that, mate. I'm George Osborne. I, oh, I'm gonna be the hero's mate in the beginning, but then at the end, I'm gonna be really evil and destroy colonies, mate. The Felicia sent Wolverine back to the time when the Tories were getting into power and be like, Wolverine can be like, no, mate, you is not gonna ruin the future. I'm gonna scratch you up. Scratch, 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 scratch. I'm gonna get my knives and throw them into your testicles and make you bleed blue. Rah, 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 rah. Fucking hell. Oh, the budgets confuse me. I think I'm gonna have to end it. I'm sad. I'm weird. I don't know what's going on. I feel, I feel numbers. Numbers all over me, mate. Oh, there's a 54 on my shoulder, there's an 85 on my stomach, and there's sevens in my eyes, mate! But it turns out good for the big businesses anyway, because they get to get like an extra 25% or something, and lots of pe rich people don't have to pay as much tax, so it's alright, like for me and you, big businesses, we as well pay, you know? Because that, if you earn like 12 grand or above, that is like a big business, yeah? I don't pay taxes on my weed dealings anyway, mate. I just put that down as like, <laughs> on my self-employment form, I put that down as like, investment or something. Like, you know, that I need, you know? I needed that to propel my business, but I ain't making any profit from it. That's what I put on my self-employment thing anyway. Didn't never check it, mate. Never check it! Never check it, mate. That's because I gave the lady at the self-employment office a good bone in, mate. I said, stick this form in your pussy, mate. I is going to tap that. I'm going to smack that. I'm going to tap that. Yeah, filling in your form, love. That was Bobby's budget. Bobby's budget. Bobby's budget. What is in the box? What is in the briefcase? What's in the box? What's in the box? It ain't Gwyneth Paltrow's head, it's Chris Martin's dick. Uh, that's in the box. All right, so, as you may know, this week we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Ooh, who is St. Patrick, you ask? No one will really know. But what we do know is that we all like to go out and get really, really drunk. Like the Irish do. So this is a segment that I like to call Bobby's Bigger! Boston. So, what other things that I like about Ireland? I like a lot about Ireland. I think their dancing is pretty nifty, but I don't really like their drink because it tastes like brown water, which is very mysterious. Some of my favourite films are from Ireland, which is including Leprechauns 1 through to 10. And also, I really like Killian Murphy, because he was the scarecrow and made people mad and fucked. And I also really, really respect Bono! In fact, I feel they should just change St. Patrick's Day to Bono Day, mate, because he is like the the walking metaphor for Ireland, isn't he, Bono? Do you know what I mean? He's got the Irish face, the Irish walk, the Irish voice, the Irish accent, the Irish food, Irish everything, mate. Favourite top five and two songs are... At number five... 
Mate, get on your boots, mate, you sexy boots, mate. Get on your boots, mate. What? Number four is Hello, hello, come on, stop! Let the place go vertigo, mate. What was a blum 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 blum? At number three, it is the sweetest thing. Because I really like the video when they's in that boat and they go, Oh, whoa, the sweetest thing, mate. And it's about bleeds. Zone on a boat. They're from Poland. Bono's looking a bit shifty, but he's also quite happy. Is that Elvis Costello and Robin Williams having a chat? Ronan Keating, you is a twat, mate. What is you doing on this boat? Oh, whoa, the fireman day is on this boat. Ronan Keating is getting excited because he likes a man in uniform. There's a boxer grapping everything, but Bono's sexy Irish tunes make him go away again. Check out the band doing the beats. <laughs> in at number two. A mole mate digging in a hole mate, digging up my soul mate, licking out Angelina. Eye eyes in the sky, I make it feel like I can fly mate. So high mate, I'm Angelina. Woo mate, oh mate, Jolie mate, to me to me. So, ooh, number one, can you guess what it is? Can you, mate? Dun, 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 dun. No, mate, Richard. Nemon! Nemon! Mate! I'm joking, that's not my favourite. <laughs> Sound, number one favourite U2 song is Sunday Bloody Sunday. And I'll tell you why, mate, because Larry Mullen Sr as bear beats mate because he's like and when I went to see them live at the arena in London he came on stage and he had this big drum and he was like and then Bono was like oh my god, my god there was a lot of bloodshed once I'm going to sing about it oh mate the bombs everyone is dying Oh goodness, the bombs! Oh, do I really just hate Sundays, mate? My number one is one. Did that confuse you there? I hope not, because what I mean to say is the song number one is my number one. I wish that all of their other songs had numbers so I could put them in the right order, but they don't, so I had to choose other ones. Yeah, one! One love, mate! One lighter, mate. Let's have a blaze, mate, and get high together, mate. Bono, mate, come over here, mate. Let's be gar together and drink a Guinness, mate. What? Hope they're not actually singing about a Portuguese man called Juan. Maybe. Juan, love, come star. Mate, I think I am babbling a sexy secret about Bono. About how he is a gay man and looks a Portuguese woman. Do you think? I think so. Bono, is you a gay man who loves Portuguese willies, mate? Write in bobbybrown at gmail.com. Tweet. Tweet me. Bagar, Bobby, I love Portuguese willies, mate. Why not? Oh, mind blown. Speaking of Roland Keating, life is a roller coaster. Hey, Trev, you say it best when you say nothing at all, mate. That smile on your face makes me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes, mate, saying that you'll never leave me, or will you? Mate, the touch of your hand, I don't know what it does, mate. Makes me a bit weird. You say it best in Notting Hill. Shout out, Ronan Keating, you're quite good as an Irish man. He was good when he was uh, caught naked outside and all the cameras. Oh yeah, and in the bathtub as well. He was well funny. 
Ronald Keating, you was a good comedic actor and I particularly like you in Bruce Moon Pat the movie. I wanted to be Stephen Gately when I was little. It's true, I used to do dances in front of my video like this. Like that. I wanted to be Stephen Gately. And that one who went on to Coronation Street as well. Keenan. Kieran. Keegan. I like Westlife because they do this. You raise me up so I can stand on about it, mate. And also how they do other shit covers like. I believe in angels, mate, because otherwise we would not be this famous. And also, I don't know what other songs they got, Westlife. Did the Westlife, they did a thing with Mariah Carey? <laughs> I don't know, mate, maybe. I think that's true. I think they did. I think... She the, fucked them all. She fucked them all, mate. She was like, oh, I love Irish, come. And just got them to spunk in her in a big, cummy Irish mount. And then they released it as a single. And then they released it as a single. They released the cum and little globules as singles. What else do I like about Ireland? Bewitched. Mate, say you will, say you won't, mate. Say you'll do what I don't, mate. Say it's true, mate. Say to me, Sess lovey, mate. And they also had a song which went, to you I belong, mate. And they was in a wood and looked all sexy, like they was going to rub themselves in bark. I remember them. Or oh, else, Samantha Mumba! Ooh, do you remember Samantha Mumba from the time machine with you and McGregor? Guy Pierce, mate. Was it, mate? Samantha Mumba from time machine with you and McGregor. Body to body, mate. Funky to funky, mate. I know how to sing in a really low voice, mate. Am I like this, mate? Oh, mate, am I a bloke? Am I trans, mate? Rest in peace, Bowie. Rest in peace, Bowie. What else do I like from Ireland? I really like Big Stones. The Giant's Causeway. The end of Star Wars, mate. The end of Star Wars. That was in Ireland, wasn't it? Shout out, Mark Amill. You looked grizzly and rugged like that front cover of the Led Zeppelin album. I also like... What else do I like from Ireland? Four leaf clusters. Go on, go on, mate. Leave me breathless. Oh, Andrea, cool. You could leave me breathless. Why don't you get your sexy brunette locks and let me put them next to my cock and slap your Irish god, mate, in my dick? I'd like to see you yells in bed. Go on, Bobby, go on, leave me breathless. Begar, begar, begar. Because we are Bobby Brown. We are Bobby, Bobby Brown. And when tomorrow comes, we'll meet him over again. We're Bobby Brown. Wow, 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 wow. Mate. And they also add a song called... What can I do to make you smoke weed? What can I do to make you talk? What can I say to make you blaze this, mate? What can I do to get you high? Go on blazing, go on Toking! Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, mate, my mum liked the cause a lot. I read once that the drummer from the cause. The drummer from the cause? Had a little bit of smoke of weed. And then she saw little leopard ones. Is that right, mate? The drummer from That's the cause? The bloke? No, the woman. It was a woman? Guitarist was a bloke, mate. Oh, mate, of course, because women. The violinist woman. Guitar. The violinist woman. Drummer woman. Alright! And the drummer had a smoke of weed and she saw leprechauns. Really, mate? She sounds like my kind of lady. Leprechauns.
Do you remember when Andrea Cole was going to be on Rock and Dive, but then it got cancelled? I remember when, because I was on the show before that, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. On Rock and Dive, and Andrea Cole was going to be on with her penny whistle, and then Rock and Dive, they cancelled it. Wankers! Wankers dive, mate. Rockers not so much dive, mate. They had a show called The Crypt that was done by an Irish lady and they oh, were going to have Bobby Braveheart and Ricky Brendan on there too. Right. It seems like at Rockers Dive, it seems like just a lot of cancellations. <laughs> sort it out, Rockers Dive. And release recordings of people's stuff, yeah? I'm still waiting for my recordings from you, Rockers Dive. Where's my fucking beats? Where's my stuff? Give it to me, man. Where's my Paris report? I was in Cannes, mate. I was in Cannes and you got my recording, mate. You suck, mate. And they got that, that show with Mike Linney up from Newcastle. Both of us, yeah, mate. Fucking give it up, Rockers Dive. I'm gonna start up a petition. Jesse, you ride. Serena, Serena, give me my recordings. Give me my recordings, Serena. <laughs> what else do I like that's Irish? Potato file was quite delicious when you got done munchies. Therapy, mate. Mate, tonight I'm so sky high, mate. I can only see you one star in the sky, mate. And all I like to do you is talk my weed. Cause I am Irish and in need. And if you ain't gonna talk, then you ain't a proper bloke. And now we're gonna listen to the beats. If it kills me, mate! If it kills me, mate! And then they had that video about the rapist with the vagina. In the video, didn't they? That was well fucked up, mate. Diane, mate. Diane! Was it about Princess Diana? Yeah. Mate. Was it, mate? Oh, that was really grotty, wasn't it? How they had Princess Diana. Diana, mate. Diana, mate. In the car crash, mate. Sad. It was just after she died, wasn't it? Yeah. The day after. And they she filmed it up her. Filmed it up her vagina. Diana vagina. Weird mate. Yeah. They were looking for the right. killer inside. Yeah. What else do I like from Ireland films? Who else? Ah, uh, Liam Neeson. Far and away, mate. Far and away. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Good movie. Sexy ginger action. Uh, so many Irish people, I think. That are well good in this world. Chris O'Dowd! Turn it off and on again, turn it off and on again, turn it off and on again, Chris O'Dowd. Turn it off and on again, why don't you turn it on, Chris O'Dowd, you are the best, yeah? I saw you in a play, I saw you in a play, it was cool, my cement mate. You was really creepy, you was really scared, you killed a mouse, it was a little bit weird. James Franco, he didn't try to murk you, he didn't try to rape you, he just acted. You was the shy one, you was the big one, and you died at the end and it made me cry. Chris O'Dowd was good enough by some man, wasn't he? And he was I, in Thor, mate. And he was in Thor, but only for a little bit because he didn't get to pork Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Natalie mate. Portman, mate. Porkman. Porkman, Natalie Porkman, mate. Yeah, the Chris O'Dowd's pretty good. I like Ireland. I'd like to go there one day. Maybe if you want me to deal you some green, give me a shout. 1 800 Bobby Land Brown. Of green, mate. What? Land of, Land of green. green, mate. I might, like, maybe you could like sell me some four leaf clovers and I can mix it in with my weed and do the luckiest spliffs ever, mate. But I'd have to convert it to euros, wouldn't I, mate? Because that's what they take over there. Are we going to be in Europe? By then, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be in Europe by then. We'll have to discuss that in Bobby's Brexit another time. Oh. Anyway, I think that's enough about Bobby's Bagar. St. Patrick's Day is this week. If you, you, you'll probably celebrate it even though you don't care because you like an excuse to get drunk and wear a silly green hat because it's not racist apparently to do that on St. Patrick's Day and you'll probably drink some green shots and have weird drink names like Leprechaun's Willy or Giant's Causeway's Spunk Face or Little Cum Shot of the Cause or something, won't they? Dolores O'Riordan's left tip 
Mate, do you have to let it linger? With tear tanks and tear bombs and tear bombs, mate, and tear guns in your head, mate, in your head, mate, in your head, mate. What's in your head, mate? In your head, mate. Zombies, mate, zombies. Zombie, bee, 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 Mate. That was Bobby's Bagar. Bobby's Bagar, Bobby's Bagar, Bobby's Bagar, Bobby's Bagar, mate. Green Day, like St. Patrick's Day. <sighs> I'm feeling a bit poorly, actually. I hope I don't come down with something. How are you feeling, Trevor? A bit like shit, mate. Mate, me too. My stomach's all twisted and turned. Oh, I'll be alright for the next show. Mate, every time I go <coughs> for my drink from a drink, I always feel sick because I get other people's germs, mate. I is quite sensitive. I should be like Michael Jackson and wear a mask around my face. Ladies, I is well sensitive, yeah? Come on over. I'll give you a little bit of Bobby's head, mate. Tap, tap, tap in your pussy. <coughs> that was Bobby's bedroom beat down. Bobby's 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 beat down.